PDD stock is one of the fastest growing companies in the market and it still has incredible potential ahead of it. In the graph below, there is a dotted line which represents the estimation of the intrinsic value or the fair value for the company and then the evolution of the price of the stock. We can see that right now it looks like it is 18% overvalued, but I believe that this stock is a must have if you manage to catch it on a downturn. This company has of course outperformed the S&P 500 in the recent years and it has consistent 30% plus revenue and profit growth and super stable cash flows, which is weird to see for a booming company. We'll be talking about PDD Holdings, the new e-commerce giant. They describe themselves as a multinational commerce group that owns and operates a portfolio of businesses having two different businesses. The first one being Pinduoduo, which is a platform that provides buyers with a comprehensive selection of value for money merchandise and fun and interactive shopping experiences. So this was born as an e-commerce for farmers in China to cut the middleman between their transactions. And it has recently had a lot of traction and grown to all time highs. They recently developed Temu in September 2022, and it has now grown to be one of the largest global online platforms dedicated to providing affordable, quality products to consumers. It basically is the new AliExpress, because as we all know, Alibaba is in very big trouble due to regulations in China, so Temu has just swept in and stolen a lot of its market share. The one risk I see here is that the delisting of the ADSs or the threat of being delisted since it's a Chinese company may adversely affect the value of your investment. But we will talk about that in the following slides. First, let's look at the business and the financial analysis. This is one of the best analyses I have seen in any company there is out there. So the return on capital employed is sitting at around 29%, which is around or even higher than some of the companies in the Magnificent Seven. They have a great interest coverage of 36, meaning that right now they don't have any liability risk. They have a great cash conversion of 70%, Profit margins of 46% and 30%, which are great, especially when we're talking about an e-commerce platform, which has generally grown by offering customers extremely cheap products. This operating margin is extremely high when compared to Alibaba, so the company is performing a lot better in this sense. As we can see, the revenues have been growing at an astonishing pace and super consistently. Their operating income has turned positive recently and is growing like a beast and its net income as well. Their forecasts are, of course, just more green numbers and more growth in the near future. And in terms of their efficiency ratios, they are growing quarter over quarter, but had reached a point of stagnation. But oh well, with a return on invested capital of 120%, who could complain? And having a return on capital employed of around 30% is a solid measure that this company knows how to create value for the investors. For the fundamental analysis, this company gets a solid 6 out of 8, especially since I believe that it has some of the most important qualities that companies that I like to invest in have. First of all, it has very low liability risk, which is really nice since it means that in the short term, it won't have any trouble with meeting short term obligations. It has a very nice solid balance sheet and is free cash flow is first of all extremely consistent and it is growing at a huge pace every single quarter, which is something that we love to see in companies that we want to invest in. Of course, organic revenue growth, we have seen that they have no problem with growing their sales. And I believe that right now they are developing a big mode and a competitive advantage. However, there are two things that I believe this company is missing. First of all, I understand that it doesn't pay a dividend because this company is a high growth company and it prefers to reinvest the cash flows back into its business. However, due to share compensation, their share of outstanding have been increasing by a bit year over year. And I would like that to change before I actually make a big, big investment on this company. And in terms of pricing power, I don't believe this company has pricing power since right now they reign on the fact that they are providing the cheapest products out there. Moving on to the long term analysis, this company has insane growth potential. And believe me when I say it follows a lot of secular trends. It's of course using AI, it's in the e-commerce system, it has a lot of data on all of its customers and all the other secular trends that you can imagine. However, I believe it has two main avenues for growth, which is currently exploiting right now. First one being providing new offerings, which is we have seen they launched Temu in 2022. So they are focusing on doing this, but the next one is attracting new clients to its offerings. 
And I don't know about you, but I've been hearing of a lot of people that are right now joining Temu because of its cheap prices. And this is exactly what they're doing to attract new clients. They're spending a lot of its cash flows on advertising to get a lot of more customers onto their websites and build that big competitive advantage, which will help them edge out all the other competitors such as Alibaba or JD. In terms of evaluation, this stock, of course, is going to trade at a premium since it's growing at 20 to 30 percent every single year. This makes sense. The 33 P.E. ratio would be considered very cheap if this was an American company growing at this rate. However, I do believe that this company, even though it trades at a premium due to its growth, it's also trading at a lower P.E. ratio than what it should be trading at because of the fact that it is a Chinese based company. Although their headquarters were recently moved to Ireland to reduce this risk, they are still seen as a Chinese company. Using their 2022 free cash flow, their yield comes at a 3.67%, which is higher than the long-term inflation rate, meaning that this is an attractively priced stock, especially since their free cash flow for 2023 was even higher than that of 2022. In terms of risks and possible challenges, the competitor risk, I would range it from 30 to 50%, First of all, because I don't think any other company is capable of having the sheer size, volume and competitive advantage with the supply chain that this company has. The only companies that could match this could be Amazon or Alibaba. Alibaba is right now caught up in a lot of distress, changing CEOs and management teams. And in terms of Amazon, I think Amazon plays in a whole different level than Temu. Since Amazon is more high quality, high priced kind of company and Temu is like the cheap version of Amazon, which you go into just to buy very cheap products. In terms of regulation, this is the risk that scares me the most. Because in the short term, first of all, we have seen a lot of new regulations coming from China. For example, a lot of regulations affecting the share price of Alibaba or a lot of regulations affecting the prices of other giants such as JD or even Tencent that have scared off investors and there have even been risks of delisting these stocks from the US exchange. Now in terms of performance, not meaning performance objectives, I gave this company a 50% but just because of the fact that they are expected to grow at 30% and maintaining a growth rate of 30% when you are already such a big company is a hard thing to do but I do think they can actually accomplish this. And in terms of market, I put a 30% due to the fact that I don't see an economic downturn happening. Before we move on to the investment conclusion, please remember I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. So please do your own research before buying this stock. I believe this company has a moat and is developing a strong competitive advantage, which is a solid point for me. It has one of the most consistent cash flows, which are predictable, resilient and growing at an incredible pace, which is something that I would love to see in a company of my own. And then it has extremely high return on capital employed, which means that the company is amazing at creating value for the investor. So the conclusion for me is that this is an amazing company and it will be at a great investment. However, it is too risky for me at these prices since, first of all, I already have exposure to China and I don't want to over leverage my portfolio to be overexposed to Chinese stocks. And I think it's run too much having an 80% increase in the past year on the past couple of months. So I prefer to wait for it to tumble a bit lower. And if I catch it at very, very discounted levels, I might get into it. But for now, it's too risky for me. So thank you for watching. As always, this has been the Cashflow Compounder. Join the free Patreon for extra content. And there is a link in bio for a free stock if you join Trade Republic or Trading212.